The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... Come in. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. Once again, be my guest on a strange journey. A weird, wild trip through a mysterious, uncharted terrain. Bounded only by your imagination. There's an expression, the night of the long knives. And it has come to mean an orgy of murder. And it usually follows a rebellion or a civil war. It's a time when many of those on the winning side take the opportunity to settle some personal scores. Why are you leaving, Roberto? It isn't obvious. Who can live here any longer? There is another woman. Oh, Pilar, there never was. There never will be another woman. You are going to her. There is nothing here for me any longer. That's a lie. Pilar, won't you understand? Yes, I understand one thing. You are tired of me. Pilar, one day, as soon as... I cannot have you. No one will. But I tell you, there is no one else. Oh, Roberto, don't leave me. Goodbye, Pilar. Oh. Patriot! Patriot, after him! That man running down the street, after him! He is a traitor! Our mystery drama, The Longest Night, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan, and stars Bryna Rayburn. It is sponsored in part by The Kellogg Company, makers of Kellogg's Special K cereal and new sugar-free diet 7-Up. I'll be back shortly with Act One. about to discover one of those little-known, out-of-the-way restaurants where the food can only be described as heavenly. It's a safe bet. You've never heard of a place called Mama Pilar's. It is located in a tiny seaport village called Puerto San Jorge in an obscure Latin American country. It's a long way to travel for dinner, but be assured, it's worth it. Mama Pilar's doesn't look like very much. It's small, dark, narrow, but don't let that put you off. Seated at his usual table near the door is a chubby, pleasant-looking middle-aged man named Siriaco. Siriaco is unable to talk, but his guitar speaks for him. Tonight, the only customers in the place are Pete and Marge Miller, and they are obviously young, North American, and newly married. This? <laughs> this is the finest restaurant in the entire world? <laughs> Darling, taste is the test. Now, come on, bear with me. Pete? Hmm? Whose picture is that on the wall? It's just like one of those funny admirals in a Gilbert and Sullivan off a river. Marge, come on, don't talk like that. As if... As if what? Well, as if you're back home in a free country. Well, you see that picture everywhere. Is he some local wheel? Angel, he is the wheel. No kidding. He is the generalissimo, numero uno, our maximum leader. <laughs> Even so, he looks like a pig. Marge, now you can't talk like that in public. Besides, he's the client. He's the man I was sent here to sell, and, and you'd better pray for him. How can I pray for him? Instinctively, I hate him. You can see evil all over his face. Well, he's a very sick man. Oh, really? I understand he has severe ulcers. He had eats like a pig. Ah, uh -huh. now you said the word. Ah, uh, uh, here she comes. Who? Oh, the great lady, Mama Tala herself. Welcome to this house. Uh, you don't remember me, Mama Tala? Oh, of course I remember you, Senor Miller, but, well, I, I thought it best not to say so. Oh, why? Well, I, I see this, this charming young lady is your wife. 
perhaps she is not supposed to know you were here before. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what would you like for your dinner? Mama Pilar, we are in your hands. <laughs> Good. I hope you are hungry. <laughs> He's quite a character. It's amazing. Hmm? This dictator, what's his name? Oh, General Zaria. Zaria. He actually does look like a pig. Now, Marge, you simply cannot... Darling, cannot... I come from Iowa. I know a hog when I see one. You are a guest in a foreign country. Oh, and you should have enough geez. good sense You're to... You're always so afraid I'll say something to embarrass you. We will have to socialize with this man. Are you proud of me? I'll chatter so charmingly, no one ever will suspect that I've got a brain in my head. <laughs> oh. What? What is that... Oh, divine aroma. Aha, uh -huh. well, you taste it. Uh, now, good friends, your dinner. <laughs> oh, what is that? Food, oh, that is all. That's all. What's a song? Notes. <laughs> but it's how these things are put together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, senora. Uh, you have been married long? Uh, well, this is our honeymoon. And also a business Oh, well, can the two be combined? Mm -hmm. You you will be here a while? Oh, my company is working on a development plan with General Zaria. Oh, yes. The leader will make us into a great nation. One day we will all be rich. Oh, sure. He promised. Well, don't bet on it. You, you think he lies? At least I think. Marge. No, no. Tell me, senora. Who has poisoned you against our leader? The traitors? The cowards and doubters who fear to believe? Oh, oh, you, you are a foreigner, so how can you understand that I love my leader because I love my country? When he fought the old government, that unholy alliance of thieves and oppressors, when he called for volunteers, I gave this man my only son. Go, I said to Ramon, follow him. And today, my Ramon, he's a captain. And one day he will invite me to the capital city and present me to the leader. Oh, oh, forgive me, I, I talk too much. Well, see what the wind blew in, a beggar. Mamma Bilal. Yes, old woman, you found me. If you are Mamma Bilal, I have a letter for you. A letter? For me? From your son. From Ramon? How is he? When did you last see Ramon? no time here. Take your letter. But, but I want to talk to you. Oh, oh well. Oh, a letter. Oh, that devil, Ramon. You think he'd come by to visit his old mother? No, no. Well, he is busy. Oh, senora, you... Uh, you read, I am sure. Me... I never did learn. Would you be so... I'm sure that it must be something private between you and your son. Oh, no, I... Ramon, no. Someone will have to read it to me. It would be a favor, Senora. All right. Oh. Well, what does he say? His letters are always so amusing. My dearest little mother, when you receive this letter, I will be dead. Read. Read. Our leader has betrayed us. We thought we fought for freedom, but he has made slaves of us all. Mama, he is a madman, and now that he realizes I know him, he will kill me with his own hands. Avenge me, Mama. Avenge me. My last thoughts are of you, the loving son, Ramon. You lie. You lie. You make up this ugly falsehood because you hate the leader. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, he... Mommy Clark, can we help you? Leave me. Well, if you need anything, we'll be in the capital city. Goodbye, Mommy Pilar. Siriaco. You see that face? The face that looks down upon us from the wall... I will kill him, Siriaco. I will kill him with my own hands. And after I have killed him, I will weep for Ramon. 
Marge. Marge, darling, I'm sorry a thing like this had to happen. Pete. Hmm? I know you have a job to do in this country, but I can't take any part in it. I will not socialize with that man. I will not visit his palace. He will not be invited to my home. But, darling... I refuse to discuss it. All right, dear. All right. My leader. My leader, you are breaking your diet. Shut up. Yes, my leader. What appointments have I this afternoon, Escobar? Dr. Suarez is to here at any moment. Then the young North American engineer, Senor Peter Miller. Is there more meat? My leader, what will Dr. Suarez say when he sees you have broken your diet? I am starved. (laughs) (laughs) Dr. Suarez. Get rid of that slop. Hmm? I gave you a diet. What are you doing? (laughs) I must eat. I'm not a bird. I'm a man. You are a self-indulgent fat slop. Si, Escobar. See how he talks to me. Here you address our leader. Be as a... quiet, you obscene little rodent. You, open your shirt. Mm. I don't care if the man is a doctor. He must have respect Dr. for our... Dr. Suarez, why don't you like me? Roll up your sleeve. I will take your blood pressure. I tolerate you because you are the best doctor in the country. But take care now how you provoke me. Be moderate. Yes, exactly my prescription for you. But I cannot live without good food, wine... Then die. Yeah. You're not the only doctor in the nation. Uh, indeed not. Fetch some quack, some boot-licking flatterer. Tell him what to prescribe. I'm sure the charlatan will oblige you. And in three months, you will be a dead man. Uh, good day. I will be here tomorrow. Mm. He's right. The dog moderation. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see the North American. Uh, same in, Senor Peter Miller. Moderation. Moderation and abstinence. That's the way to live forever. You must keep me to that diet, Escobar. You keep me to that diet. Yeah. Your Excellency? Yes, sir. Uh, I have here the report on all the preliminary studies. Have you, uh... uh... Yes, sir. An overall program to build hospitals, schools, bridges, aqueducts, drain swamps. We can transform the entire country. Can you? Ed, now, if you'll examine these papers... Enough, uh, sir. Sir? Be silent. Mr. Miller, do you know what you are? You, sir, are a barbarian. You enter a man's office, and with absolutely no regard for... for the amenities... You start slapping your business documents all over his desk. A a, a thousand pardons, Your Excellency. Is it your impression that you will have me sign these documents and be on an aircraft bound for the United States within the hour? No, sir. I'm I'm completely at your disposal, sir. Uh I uh, understand your lovely wife is with you. How is she? Uh, uh, Fine. We shall hold a reception in her honor tonight at the palace. Uh, I'm... I'm afraid she's not feeling well. Uh, It's been a long trip. She's not a good traveler. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, Perhaps tomorrow. Uh, Yes, sir. Or the day after. Now, uh, be sure to convey my warmest personal regards to your lovely bride and uh, and let us know when she will find it convenient to honor us with her presence. Yes, yes, sir. Good day. Uh, Good good day, sir. Now, what remains to be done today, Escobar? Ramon. Ah, yes. Ramon. He waits in his cell. We shall miss Ramon. He was a fine boy. He was a traitor. A criminal. Is there a family? He never spoke of anyone. Ah, these ambitious country boys. They get big ideas. And soon they grow ashamed of the old peasant mama back on the farm. Well, whoever she is, wherever she may be, let her believe her boy died a hero. Say something nice on the radio, Escobar. Yes, my friends, this brilliant young soldier, a hero of the Holy Revolution, was one of our leader's closest companions. Patriots, mourn for the man our leader called my friend Ramon. Swine. 
I will avenge you, my little Ramon. I will avenge you. Oh, Siriaco, did you get the flowers? Oh, oh, what a beautiful bouquet. Oh, thank you, Siriaco. Oh, thank you. And now, dear friend, we must practice. I, I, I will stand outside the palace gate and wait for him to come. Now you pretend to be the pig. Now, now, you are leaving the palace. Start walking toward me. I call out, my leader! You, you hear a woman's voice. You look. You see a peasant. Her face, it, it shines with adoration. I hold out this bouquet and... Because you are a depraved and evil man, the sight of sincerity must always amuse you. You step forward to receive my homage, my gift. I, I extend it eagerly, lovingly. And as you reach out to take it, my right hand withdraws the knife from inside the flowers. And I step and thrust. <laughs> Mama Pilar has prepared many a peppery plate in her lifetime. But now she is assembling the ingredients for the most pungent dish of all. Revenge. The recipe will come to a boil when I return shortly with Act Two. Intense love, violent hate. These can be two sides of the very same coin. And just as a coin can be flipped, so can the human emotions. Mama Pilar worshipped General Zaria, the dictator of her country, until he murdered her only son. Now she regards him as a pig to be slaughtered. And with this object in mind, she approaches the presidential palace. In her hand is a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Hidden among the stems is a knife. Clutching the bouquet, Mama Pilar addresses the soldier who stands guard at the gate. Senor, I, I beg your pardon. Can you tell me if our leader will be leaving the palace today? Why do you want to know? Well, I, I want to give him this lovely bouquet of flowers. Ha, how do I know there is not a bomb hidden inside those rose buds? Oh, you oh, better beat it. But why? He's going to get very rough around here. Sweetheart, go home. Take your hands off me. You can't get near him. He's surrounded by his personal bodyguards. I want to give him Nobody the power. ever gets within 50 yards of him. I don't Move back. Move back, sweetheart. I have a gift for my leader. Run, sweetheart. They love to hit. Oh. Uh, let me help you. Don't touch me. You'll be okay. You just fainted. No. <laughs> oh, now, don't cry. Don't cry. Let me alone. You're pretty lucky, you know. We used to have a captain of the guard. He'd give orders to kill people. Don't cry. Don't cry. Why don't you just go home? <laughs> You must sign these death sentences, my leader. How much longer must I wait for food? Till 2.30. Uh, it's a quarter of an hour. What can I have, eh? A carrot. A car Don't let me cheat. I warn you. Don't let me cheat. Uh, yes? It's Senor Peter Miller. Uh, admit him. Uh, let him in. Uh, Dr. Suarez. A swine. He won't what he's right. You must not let me cheat. Your Excellency? Uh, sit. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have here the report of a field check. Tell me, Mr. Miller. Hmm? Why doesn't your wife like me? Oh, well, sir. Now, you may ask, why should it matter to me if the spouse of some... some machinery peddler, which is all you really are, dislikes me? Oh, but, but sir... I have is... feelings. I dislike being snubbed. I am entitled to courtesy. I deserve consideration. 
I have the right to be taken seriously as a human being. Who is your wife, anyhow? Now, sir, the... Now, doctor... sir, but, sir, it won't do. For two weeks now, you have refused all my invitations. My wife is still somewhat indisposed. May I send her our own physician, a man of international repute? Well, I... I... I think it's, it's just a matter of getting, you know, used to the climate and... Yeah, the of course, of course, of course. You must remember to give her my regards. Uh, y- yes, sir. I, I, I have some reports here. Reports? Should... Business? On such a glorious day? Well, Your Excellency, the time grows short. Time, my dear boy, grows neither short nor long. She maintains her own steady rhythm despite all our futile efforts to hurry or delay her. Until tomorrow. Uh, Yes, sir. And if your lovely bride is sufficiently recovered, bring her with you for cocktails. (laughs) I mean tea. Good day. Uh, Good day, sir. How much longer, Escobar? Exactly 37 minutes. See to it. It must be a very large carrot. Hello, Robert. Hello, Pilar. Human beings. (laughs) What an astonishing lot we are. After all that has happened, we meet by chance, and it's... Hello, Roberto. Hello, Pilar. We have not met by chance, Roberto. I have come here to talk to you. Oh? The last time you talked to me, you denounced me as an enemy of the revolution. It was here. Right here. On this very street. Please, Roberto. Well, you did. I lost my job, my property, most of my teeth. Ah, but that's no matter. There's not much to eat nowadays, anyhow. Roberto. Are you going to denounce me again, Pilar? You, you have every right to make this difficult for me. Roberto, read this letter. Read it. I don't read anymore. It's from Ramon. Yes? For the love of God, Roberto, read it. Very well, Pilar. Read and realize... It is Ramon who writes. Yes, I see. It is Ramon who has written. And now that I have read it... Is that all you can say? What is there to say? I say I am going to kill the pig. Don't let me delay you. Roberto, listen. I cannot do it alone. He's surrounded by his guards, but I don't have to do it alone. I, I can join the resistance. Roberto... Please, let me join the resistance. What have I to do with the resistance? But you need me. The resistance needs me. I am tired. I am strong. I fear nobody. And I have grown old. And I can help the resistance. Pity me, Roberto, pity me. Fighting resistance will meet tonight. Thank you, Roberto. In your cafe. In my... Why not? It's the safest place in the city. Is that you, Pete? Yeah, Marge, it's me. Well, what about dinner? Ah, uh, we'll have to send out. Oh, I see. I'm still being punished. Well, how can we be seen anywhere? I said you were indisposed. Well, why'd you say that? What else could I tell him? The truth. I don't care for his company. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Another cozy evening at home with the Millers, Pete, much. Oh, hmm? you got a call from New York, Mr. Lowry. Oh, they're getting nervous. I don't have result number one as yet. You just won't understand why I refuse to see that man. Marge, Marge, it, it, it's okay to have prints. As long as you don't practice them. Listen, we can really help these people. We, we, we'll drain swamps, cut down disease, raise food, create industry... Give them the strength to rise up and fight him. That's how to destroy Zaria. Well, I... Honey, I'm right. You know I'm right. Okay. Uh, now you're finally doing the right thing. You really do believe that my only mission is to keep you happy. I'm not a human being in my own right. Oh, for crying out loud, there you go again. What do you mean? There I go again. Marge. I have no thoughts, no feelings of my own. 
I'm even required to give up my own honeymoon because you don't have the backbone to stand up to a two-bit would-be Hitler who needs your machinery more than you need his business. I didn't say I would... That enough. Where are you going? I'm indisposed. Roberto, will it be all right if I, if I say a few words? Yes. I, I will tell everyone who comes here tonight, never despair, never give up. Can I, can I say this at the meeting? Of course. You, you, you told everyone about the meeting to, to come here? Yes. Good. Well, when will the meeting begin? Now. I call the meeting to order. Who wishes the floor? But, but where is everyone? Here. You lied to me. You didn't tell the others. I couldn't tell the others. They are dead. Oh, but you said the resistance would meet tonight. The only organized resistance to Eduardo Guillermo Carlos Vicente Zorilla, known as the Pig, is assembled in this room. My precious Pilar, the strong and the quick are now the weak and the dead. You stood by while that obscene swine destroyed the resistance. Now you call on it to avenge your son. Our son. Our... I would have acknowledged him. I would have married you. What kind of man marries a woman out of pity? What kind of woman denounces a man out of hate? Is there any new business? Any proposals? I propose we kill the pig. There has already been violence enough. Other resolutions? None? Unless the chair hears to the contrary, this meeting stands adjourned. Good night, Pilar. Good night, Roberto. Good night, Siriaco. Oh. Remember, Siriaco, the little American girl who... Read me the letter. He looks like a pig, she said. Just like that. <laughs> a skinny little girl looks at his picture and says, Pig. You know what makes her so wise, Siriaco? She thinks. Oh, there you have it. She and Roberto. Thinkers. They would say, We have a problem. What is the most effective way to kill a pig? But what do they know about killing pigs? They are thinkers, philosophers, aristocrats. Oh, no, I know how to kill a pig. <laughs> tell me, Siriaco, tell me. Do I know how to kill a pig? There are probably many ways to kill a pig. But all of them have one basic requirement for success. It is necessary first to have your pig firmly in hand. Till now, this has been Mama Pilar's fundamental problem. However, we can depend on her to solve it when we return shortly with Act Three. Yes, when you say but why say? One thing you can't fool American beer drinkers about, and that's taste. When it comes to beer, they know what they like. Yes, when you say Budweiser. And so many millions of American beer drinkers prefer and choose the Budweiser taste that it's the largest selling beer in the history of the world. And that's a fact. Pick up a six-pack of Bud and taste why. You'll see that brewing beer right does make a difference. And that when you say Budweiser, you've said it all. Yes, when you say Budweiser, you said it all. Yes. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis. Sometimes a gentle rain in one place adds up to a raging torrent in another. A torrent that can uproot lives as well as trees. To remedy the things that can be remedied in a disaster, 
America has a unique emergency force, the American Red Cross, America's good neighbor. Red Cross is on call 24 hours a day, every day, to cope with emergencies, whether they're on the next block or a continent away. Most of the help that's given is from volunteers. The money's from volunteers, too. Volunteers like you. If you need help, join us. If you can give help, join us. The American Red Cross. Help us help people just like you. Marge Miller is a young newlywed who is having the first fight of her marriage. And permit us to say, it's a beaut. The reason may sound familiar. She refuses to socialize with her husband's client. It acquires deeper dimension when we consider that the client also happens to be the absolute dictator of a small nation. However, here comes Mama Pilar with her own score to settle. And does she bring salvation or disaster? No, no, I'm sorry, Pilar. It's out of the question. Why does the senora insist I wish to kill somebody? It's not just somebody. Zorilla. Me? Kill my leader? Oh, why else would you want to prepare a dinner for him? Oh, senora, I am growing old. Running a restaurant is too much for me. I, I'm looking for a job. And, and your husband's work, senora, requires you to entertain. You need a good cook. No, no, we don't entertain at all. Oh, but you should, senora. Don't you you should. that. Besides, if I let you cook a meal for old Zoria, you'll bury a knife in him the minute he walks in. I will not. On, on my word of honor. Well, you spike his soup with arsenic. I will not. On my word of honor, I will do I nothing to... I believe you. But Pete would never buy it. Why not? Why not? Well, let's just say he's very nervous and upset right now. Ah, then you have a problem. Such a man is no good to a woman. Oh, no, no, no. We must relax him, restore his desire for romance. Amen. <laughs> now, suppose that just... Suppose you said to your husband, eh, invite the leader here for dinner. <laughs> You're trying to sneak up on me. I said, just suppose. Well, what would he do? I guess he'd flip. Oh, oh well, that must mean something good, eh? But, no, th there is no need to tell him I will cook the dinner until, well, until everyone arrives. And then it will be too late for him to object. <laughs> How simple it is. Simple and deceitful. Why do you want to prepare a meal for Zoria? I have my reason. Sure. I want to help my husband do his job. But I can't very well have his client killed at my dining room table. Senora, this dinner will resurrect your marriage. It makes you think that my marriage needs to be... Oh, when a bride sits alone all afternoon, emptying glasses, filling ashtrays... Pillar, Pillar. Oh, no, 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 little one, don't <laughs> cry. Oh, no, I promise you, this dinner will bring you both joy and happiness. It will restore your love, revive your honeymoon. But you promise, word of honor, you won't kill him here. My word of honor, I won't kill him anywhere. Ah, Mr. Miller, now I understand. If my wife were as charming as yours, I would also keep her hidden. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. Well, we want you to share an important event with us, Your Excellency. Uh, this is to be Marge's first home-cooked meal. Oh, now, dear, I didn't say I would cook the dinner myself. I I hired some help. We even have music. Siriaco, play for us, please. Excellency, yeah. your eating schedule. Oh, yes. Yes, Escobar. Uh, thank you. My dearest Mrs. Miller, summon the cook. Oh, certainly. Pilla! Marge, what are you doing? Relax. No matter what happens, remember, I love you. Your Excellency. Your name is Pilar? Yes, my leader. Uh, you are not from this city. I would know that hill country accent anywhere. Now, don't tell me... 
Puerto San Jorge. <laughs> I, I was born there, my leader. That's the real country. Those are the real people. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, my good Pilar, prepare for me... Uh, two boiled eggs, three minutes. Uh, you tell the time? Oh, yes, my leader. Three minutes, no more, no less. Tea with one teaspoon of skim milk. Toast. One dry slice thin. But, Your Excellency, we... I am on the most... strictest diet, my dear. I, oh, I... oh, forgive me. Please, forgive me. I, I didn't know. Pilar, you'll serve all of us eggs, tea, and toast. I forbid it! <laughs> No, no, you are, you are so sweet, sympathetic, sensitive, my dear, but, but I must forbid it. Pilar, you will serve your master, mistress, and Captain Escobar the prepared meal. Yes, my leader. But your excellency, we have no right to this enjoy is something something like... I must learn to live with. It's for the best. What is food? Merely a fuel. And with me, it was once a passion. Uh, no, that passion is spent. It is burned out completely. May I serve now, Senora? Well, yeah. yes, I, I suppose so. <laughs> the true passion stuck, that one. Where on earth did you find her? Oh, you must never ask a lady where she finds her help. These must remain our little secrets. Oh, <laughs> oh smell that. Oh, smell that. I have not seen beef marinated San Jorge style in years. Oh, Pilar, you are a genius. Oh, thank you, my leader. Yeah, I uh, don't know if I'm hungry. I command you to eat. But we have no right to enjoy gourmet cooking while you My are dear, the... my dear, this is not gourmet cooking. This is hill country cooking. Oh, I was weaned on it. That, that, that meat before you. Let me tell you how that divine fragrance and flavor is achieved. The meat is first soaked in specially spiced wine, and then marinated in a special spice and garlic sauce. The exact recipe is a secret handed down from mother to daughter. But, Your Excellency, we have no right to do this to you. We should send it back to the kitchen. No, no, I curb my passions. And so and enjoy yourselves. I, I command you to enjoy yourselves. My leader, your eggs, tea, and toast. Thank you, my dear Pilar. Thank you. There. There you are. See? You see how, how quickly I have fueled my engine. Half a dozen bites, a couple of swallows, and I am done. You have scarcely begun. You will fritter away your lives at the table. Whereas I, I, I shall have endless hours free for work, for study, and for, uh, and for, uh, and, uh, oh, well, oh, well, I, I don't see how just perhaps the, the tiniest piece of that meat could, uh, would do me any real harm, Pilar. Yes, my leader. Oh, let go of her arm, Escobar. Oh, my leader, I am only doing my duty. You deserve a decoration. Make note of it. Now, Pilar, uh, that piece, that... <laughs> and then the, that one. Oh, fine, fine. Splendid. Oh, oh. Oh, this is... This is every bit the way I, I remember. <laughs> oh, this, this is the words of the gods. The gods. Pilar. My leader. A special spiced wine is always served with this. Oh, I have it here, <clears throat> my leader. <laughs> yes, yes, I... This is... Oh, good. I'm renewing myself. More meat, Pilar. Where did he put it, Pete? Where? I don't know. Your Excellency, your diet. You shouldn't eat this much in a week, a, a month. Shut up, Pilar. Uh, yes, my leader. My glass is empty. My plate's empty. Oh. Oh. oh, this is heavenly. Where has the shining light been hidden? Pilar, more meat. More of everything. Oh, you... You work for these good people, Pilar. Yes, my leader. And... When they go home... Oh, well, I <clears throat> must find another place to cook. No, no, no. I... 
I must eat no more. I have eaten too much. I should have eaten nothing. Take it away, Pilar. Remove everything. I must not eat no more. I must not. My, 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 my doctor is right. Your doctor lies. Uh, what have you said? Oh, oh, please, my leader. I meant no harm. All my life I, I have prepared food. It never hurt anyone. How can a doctor blame food? Yes, my kind Pilar. Oh, all the men in my family, my father, my brothers, my son, they always ate what I cooked. Not one was ever sick. My leader, this is food. This is life. I, it was so good. So good. I, my leader, who ever heard of doctors at the hill country? My father died at 95. My father was drowned at 86. He was trying to swim the San Jorge River to visit the most beautiful widow in the province. <laughs> uh, Mr. Miller, hmm? Mrs. Miller. Y y yes, sir. Uh, you have made me aware of something I seem to have forgotten. My roots. I lost them. But I find them here. Just in time. Yes. Yes, I shall be nourished by the food of my peasant ancestors. Escobar. Dismiss that quack, Dr. Suarez. But you wrestled... Mr. Miller. You... Why have you come to this country? To make your fortune, eh? Well, your fortune is made. Create, build, construct, send me engineers, teachers, technicians, designers. Have the necessary papers ready for signature in the morning. Your, your Excellency. Uh, see? You are successful beyond your wildest dreams. Thank, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, thank me by giving me this woman, Pilar. Would you like to live in the palace? Oh, my leader, what what does a peasant woman know of the palace? The kitchen. You shall rule over the kitchen. I? Yes. Oh, me? To, to cook for my leader? Oh, but I, I am only a plain peasant woman. Escobar, it was a plot. A plot, Excellency? A clever plan to kill me. How? Oh, they would starve me to death. Oh. Pilar. Is there more meat? Oh, yes, my leader. <laughs> of course, I have... I have learned a lesson, even from my enemies. Moderation. I shall enjoy good food, but in, in moderation. Oh, and what does my leader desire Woman. for his breakfast? <laughs> Woman, do, do I solicit your advice on the training of troops, the administration of justice? Do not consult me. Prepare what you choose. <laughs> Is there dessert? Oh, of course, my leader. I I'll go and help Pilar serve. Pilar. See, I gave you my word of honor. But you are. I got to kill him. You see that man? He can't help himself. Oh, neither can a pig. It's the nature of the animal. But Pilar. Huh? Look at him. A knife. A bullet. A few grains of poison. Much too swift. Much too merciful. No, oh, this is better. I have seen swine stuffed like him. They die slowly, badly, in agony. Much better. Oh, be happy, senora. I have kept my word. And you have won your husband again. Pilar, the dessert. Oh, time once again to stuff the pig. <laughs> Coming, my leader. We have a simple sweet... A, a, a simple sweet? Yes, senor. We call it the Mountain of San Jorge. Whipped cream, ice cream, chocolate, preserve, not fruit. <laughs> oh, 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 Pilar, Pilar. Mm, mm. Dear good friends, you, you have renewed my life. Oh, your slate, my leader. Escobar. Have Dr. Suarez shot at once. There is plenty more in the kitchen, my leader. Oh, I, I can hardly wait for breakfast. <laughs> what shall we have, Villar? Oh, you said for me to surprise you. Oh, you, will, you will serve me always, Pilar. Say, say that you, you will serve me always. You are my leader. I will serve you to the death. As some people might say, what a way to go. But this is something the Mama Pilars of the world understand. If you can't get to a man's heart with a knife, another way, and a better way, is to get there through his stomach. I shall return shortly. heard it 
it said, The pen is mightier than the sword. This sentiment was written by a man and can be dismissed as male chauvinist propaganda. What every woman knows is that mightier than the pen or the sword is the knife and the fork. If you don't believe it, just ask Mama Dilar. Our cast included Bryna Rayburn, Marion Seldes, Jack Grimes, Leon Janney, and Gil Mack. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Sinoff, the Sinus Medicines, Buick Motor Division, and Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.